Hey everybody, this is Tan and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to fix the infinite loading glitch in GTA 4 on PC, Steam, Steam Edition. So I need to hook up two recording softwares just to record this video. Screencast Dramatic for normal desktop screen recording and Fraps for in-game screen recording. Now while I'm in-game, uh, you might see my uh, thingy being like my GTA 4 game being shown up in somewhere in the corner of this. So yeah. So I'm also going to be doing how to get Geometry Dash and the Impossible Game for free. What's basically it is that you will request me to do a game share and I will accept the game share. Blah blah. So basically GTA 4 now. The infinite loading screen loop glitch which everybody hates. So, first thing what you want to do is open up Steam, highlight over GTA 4, right click, go to properties. Go to local files and go to browse local files. Now, let me give you in mind, this way is really complicated. So, yeah, you guys might get some complicated issues with this way. I'm more, I mean, if you do not know how to do this, or like, uh, no offense, but if you're not that intelligent in computer, then I don't think it's going to be easy for you, but no offense anyway. So, first thing what you want to do is right click properties, then go to local files, then go to browse local files, and then it should pop up this local files. Let me just keep that minimized. Then what's what you need to do in here is right click go to new go to new text document then make the text document command line dot txt which is exactly like this dot txt make sure it's in dot txt now the way to understand it if it is dot txt and if you don't have uh, un extensions enabled then make sure the icon is like this so yeah command line dot txt. I'll leave a link in, I mean, uh, spelling in the description if you guys are bad in spelling. No offense. I'm really sorry if anybody's being offended. Then go inside and I'll give a link in the description to this as well. Just copy and paste it inside of this folder. N uh, no mem restrict. No restrictions. Then, uh, just keep it like this, keep it minimized. And guys, yeah, so then, uh, what you want to do is hit play. Now, once you are inside the GTA game and once it's loaded, you will see this options menu here. You want to click the options. And then you see this graphics option. Click there and max out every settings. Now, keep in mind that this only works for high-end video cards and make sure that uh, you have a good uh, video card then once it's done you want to hit space then you want to hit enter like after you've maxed it out hit space and then enter then go to then exit out of there that option by pressing escape then go to quit once you quit you should be back in here then you want to be opening this file again then you want to hit rename uh, uh oh no 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 undo uh... control z there we go then once you have, then once you're back here on this page, you want to right click, go to go to rename and remove the e at the end, so it should become command lean or not line but lean. Hit enter and play GTA 4 again. And wait one second, let me just check F9 for my video capturing hotkey. Okay, guys, so I'll be seeing opening it running my computer is only 8 gigs of RAM with a bad graphics card. it's not that bad it's AMD Radeon R9 M275 4 gigabyte VRAM model then you hit play and yeah then what happens next what happens next is it loads and it loads and it loads 
it keeps on loading. It keeps on loading. Okay. It keeps on as it has loaded. I will smash the F9 key in a while, guys, so don't worry. Don't worry, I will record it. So, Fraps, I'm on Fraps now, and as you guys can see, my GTA 4 is loading. Now, once I've made it maxed out every settings and made it command lean, not line again, lean, uh, you have to make sure one thing is that you, once it's loaded, you want to go back to the options menu, go back to graphics, and you should see everything becoming glow again and it should show this message this is only because of this message it thinks that your graphics card can handle it so the game purposely doesn't go inside like the game purposely doesn't go past the loading screen purposely not mistakenly purposely so as you can see it has all been reset to the worst possible case so you wanna try to hide it if you can't hide it which means good then you hit space then enter now you should see that this became smaller now what you want to do is hit escape, go back to here, quit, enter. Then once you have quitted it, wait, I think my friend just sent me a message. I am, I am recording, I'm just saying him that. Okay, he's playing geometry dash, let him play. Okay, so. Oh uh, yeah, he's using my Geometry Dash game. Well, he has no games, but so he I shared my game with him anyway. Then what you want to do is you want to go back here, make it command line again. Then go back. <laughs> Not kidding. It's not gonna be a one hour long video or anything though. Then once you want to go back do it then you want to hit play again <laughs> you won't insult yourself by getting like 90% in that game <laughs> and uploading it on YouTube but anyway so stupid alright now please stop sending me messages so once you're back in the game you just wanna wait for it to load I mean wait for me to load I mean our you guys will have to wait for it to load as well but I'm crazy <laughs> whoa as you can see my FPS is going higher than 100 <laughs> I mean previously it went like 500 or so this game is capped at 60 FPS by the way so, once this bit loads, it might look really terrible. It is. Then you want to make sure do not click any other options, okay? Do not click quit, live marketplace, live options. Just hit start. And you want to wait for the game to start. It might take like 5 to 6. 1 to 20 l loading loops. So it's one loop for I mostly for me it takes like three loop, three to four loops. So one loop, second loop. This is the third loop. And bam! After the third loop, it's appeared. As you can see, like it actually works. Now, yes, you need to do this amazingly hard thingy before you can get into the game. And after this bit, you can actually increase your graphic settings. It doesn't really matter, but make sure uh, I just give auto configure. Everything is done. Hit space and enter. But you know my game just crashed because I'm recording right now. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.